guys, welcome back, it's Dylan, and in today's video I wanted to go over my sunglass collection slash talk about some of the sunglasses I think you guys should buy for the summer. So here's the thing with me and sunglasses, I never usually buy an expensive pair of sunglasses more than every year and a half to two years and when i use the term expensive i am talking at least like 200 dollars at the most because i do not have the money nor do i wish to spend the money on in a thousand dollar pair of sunglasses like who does that i am not a kardashian i do not have money to spend like that but i find a lot of the brands that you see out there that are worth like thousands of dollars a lot of online stores nowadays carry that exact same frame for like I want to say a quarter of the price a quarter because I literally have and you'll see in this video I have a pair of sunglasses that look identical to the Dior ones that were very trendy at least like I want to say earlier this year but I could be wrong but I have those sunglasses right there and literally everyone has asked me whether they're actual Dior ones and I'm like um yes how did you know yeah but I do not believe you spend a lot of money on sunglasses because <sighs> I think we all have experienced the sound slash feeling of your ass cheek slash cheeks, either or, sitting down on your favorite pair of sunglasses and all you hear slash feel is like your dreams and your money just... But yeah, no, I find sunglasses are one of the things that are so fragile and it's so hard to maintain them that I, if you have a lot of money, then sure, go blow thousands of dollars on sunglasses, but... For me, I'm like at the lower, not even in the camera spectrum. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on sunglasses. But yeah, so before I get into this video, be sure to go hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the bell notification button so you get notified when I post videos. And I think that's it. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, this is very close up. I know if you are a little bit frightened by like my very oily skin, then just go click the links down below of the sunglasses that I'm gonna feature here. Okay, so my first pair of sunglasses, I feel like these are the ones I have to talk about first because I absolutely, absolutely love them. They are these ones right here. So I don't know how well they're showing up in the on the screen here, but they are like this rose gold pair of like rounded sunglasses here. So these ones I got from a company called Perverse Sunglasses. I'll leave the links to all the sunglasses down below. So they sent these ones out to me for me to try and I am so, so glad they did because these are by far my favorite sunglasses of the whole summer and possibly the whole year. And the reason why I like them is one, because the frame is very similar to another pair that I actually have and I know that that is a very good frame on my face. And see here's the thing with sunglasses too, a lot of people make the mistake of is that they never usually buy the right frame for like their face shape that is a very big thing i mean you probably could be arguing that this is not the right frame for my face but i love it uh, but i also love these ones because they are this really nice rose gold color and if anybody has noticed rose gold and pastels have been so big for this summer or like even this year so that's really good that way and also too the price point on these they were like fairly fairly cheap and they're very comfortable too they don't feel cheap either like they're pretty sturdy as well but anyways these are by far one of my favorite ones i absolutely love these ones so yeah well, the second pair are these ray-ban club masters i have had these for at least five years around that i can't remember probably longer but these ones are definitely a classic, classic shape. I remember my mom telling me that she literally had these ones when she was like in her 30s or 20s or whatever. So definitely a classic frame, never goes out of style. And I find with this frame right here, it can definitely like elevate your look and make you look a little bit more sharper, more sophisticated, or like even if you, the way you style it, it can even give your like look a little bit more of like a vintage vibe. Not, not vintage, but like kind of like a throwback vibe. You know what I mean? So what I really love about this frame here is one, how sturdy it is. I love a sturdy frame because it makes me feel like I'm not gonna break it. Um, I also love the brown tortoiseshell frame at the top and also arms, along with the pairing of like the gold right here. It just makes it look really sharp, clean, and then the green lenses here. It all really goes well together and I love it. Okay, so third pair are these rounded sunglasses right here. I don't have a frame name for them, but I got them from this company called Bailey Nelson, which I think they changed their name over to Ollie Quinn. I am not 100% sure, but I will leave a link down below. So here's a story with these sunglasses. So these ones right here, I saw these in the store, and since that whole rounded prescription glasses trend was in, I actually asked them if they could take these ones out and turn them into regular seeing glasses. You know what I mean? They did that and actually before I left, I said to them, can you actually give me the 
sunglass version as well, which they did. And actually, it turns out that I was not a huge fan of the regular seeing prescription glasses anymore, and I wanted a pair of circular ones, so what I did was literally just pop them out and put these ones in. And I literally have a new pair of sunglasses. I find that these ones are perfect for a festival, they're great for summer as well, and since they aren't super reflective and you can actually almost see right through, they are perfect for 2017 because that whole colored, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but like, you know the sunglasses that you can still like see your eyes and like they're very like, pretty much like the colored lens, uh, like we can see right through. I'll leave images right here of what I'm talking about because I cannot come up with the words for it, but that has been a very big trend right now. You can buy those ones at Urban Outfitters for like, I think $50 if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper. But these ones, I pretty much got pretty much two uses out of them. I got a regular pair of reading glasses and I got sunglasses for I think $148. I could be wrong, but I find that's a really good deal just considering the fact you get two glasses out of it in a way and they are very sturdy. And what I like about these ones is that because they have that silver frame around them they do make them look a little bit more expensive so I like those a lot and yeah so these ones right here are the ones I was talking about earlier in the video the Dior ones so these ones right here I got from a company called Zero UV and these ones I believe they were like $20 around that price so they were super super cheap along with these ones right here so I feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of silver glasses I find it pretty much goes with every outfit in a way. So then moving on are these sunglasses right here are just a classic aviator. Now these ones uh, I very very rarely wear because they do kind of look a little cheap but if you are at a beach or like a festival or something where you don't care if you lose them then these ones are great for that and that's what I find American Eagle sunglasses are good for because they give you the look without really worrying whether you lose them and they usually have like really good deals like buy two get 150 off kind of thing there. But yeah I very rarely wear these ones because I am not a huge fan of aviators right now. The ones I really really want I'm only showing these ones because these are what I own but I plan on getting the Ray-Ban aviators which come in like a green and gold or like they even come in like a reflective purple I believe it is something along those lines but those that's the one I ideally want I'll leave an image right here of it those ones I find they have more of like a sharper edge at the bottom right here they're kind of more triangular if that makes sense and they are a little bit sturdier but again, if you're looking for something really cheap, go get these ones at American Eagle. So these ones right here are the very last pair. They are the rounded Ray-Ban. I don't have the exact name, but you'll know when you see them like on the Ray-Ban website. I'll leave it down below. But anyways, so these ones right here, I if you follow my Instagram, which you should because I post there very often, you'll see every single photo I'm wearing. I pretty much have these ones on because I absolutely, absolutely love these ones because they are super comfortable and like I said, I usually don't put, I really don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses and these ones are probably my like fancy pair in a way because I find that they they make an outfit look very sophisticated while well, being casual and it almost has like a Parisian or like European look to them which I love so much about that and I feel like this is also a Ray-Ban thing but this very classic like gold and like green lens right here they just go so well together and it pretty much goes with every outfit too so yeah so that is pretty much all of my sunglasses that I have here so if I'm gonna quickly go over some big trends for sunglasses I'll like leave like a little list right here so what's really big right now are these rounded frames right here so either the Clubmaster ones or even these very circular ones right here. So I find the rounder and almost even to the smaller the frame, the better for summer 2017. Also to what has been really big as well are like frames that are a little bit boxier or square. Ray-Bans have a pair right now. They're almost very similar to these ones right here, but they are a little bit boxier and have like edges to them. So those are very big. And like I said, the smaller the frames, the better for summer 2017 because they almost look very 90s like. Also too, Urban Outfitters is selling a whole bunch of these and almost every single person I've seen on Instagram owns them. They are the transparent colored frames. You'll know what I'm talking about. They come in like that um, mustard yellow and like the red. Those are very big and on that note too, colored lenses are very big as well. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again be sure to go hit that subscribe, like, bell notification button and yeah, see ya.